Hello. To create labels in Label Studio, in the Create Project screen, we go to this labeling setup, and then in the visual uh, editor here, on the, on the left, I'm going to type an example, and I can say Create. To do the same thing in Diffgram, when you're on the New Project screen, go to Create Label, and you can also click Example, and hit Enter, or click Create. Diffgram also has a lot more depth. So you can create attributes. So you can select from select, free text, multiple select, radio buttons, slider, time, and date. So here I'm going to select radio button. I'm going to name it here. Then I can choose a scope. This is entirely optional. So it can either be for every single annotation or it can be per file. Next is the default conditional. So if you just want it to show up all the time, you can select that. You can also select this here. So if I could put this to, let's say, another. And then now when I go here, I could say I only want it to show on another label. And this will create a conditional rendering. So this, this question will only be shown in that case. Then I can click some examples. So I'm just going to put um, two, three, okay. And I can also choose a default. So for example, three could be the default. So now if I go to the studio and I refresh the, the studio, we'll see that these examples are here. So for example, if I have a, a bounding box and I've got example that does an annotation, I can also use the hot key. So right now I click two on my keyboard and that does another. So now I'm going to get three annotations here. And you can see if I select any of these ones and go to example, I can change this value here. So this is set to three, indicated there, but I can also change that, that value. And these are all going to be different for each one. Then if it's needed, um, you can actually continue to add complexity. So if you don't need it, you can obviously just leave off there. But if we wanted to show this free text question on every single file, we can also add that. So now if I go back to here and I refresh this, you'll see we now have this global example. So now this shows up and we have this example that's available and this is global for that file. So if I move to a different file, you'll see that this is available even though we don't have any annotations yet. And if I click this, you see now we've got one annotation that's come up. And if I select it, there's no attributes. But if I go to my other uh, label, you see immediately it pops up with the, with the example uh, attributes. And we can actually just keep adding these. So if I went, let's say, for example, for slider, and we go here, and we can say that we want to show this on all of them. So now if I go back and I, and I refresh this, you can see on the slider that this is now coming up here. So I now have both the slider and in the case of another, I have the example too. So you see that we get, so you see in that case, we can get as complex a representation as we want and we can keep editing it all in this easy UI wizard we don't have to jump into any type of coding but if we do want to code it we have the SDK available as well so you're more than welcome to do this in Python in code uh, but if you want to do it through the UI you can do it through the UI and again this scales to your needs so if we wanted to create a new project that we could just completely ignore these attributes and exclusively use the labels if we didn't need the, the attributes.